hello so this the, the second uh, simplification so here i'm trying to do something different so uh this is just uh, uh solving of the area by coordinates uh so i want to just uh, do a little bit uh let's say we need to prove if our area by coordinates formula can be gotten so in this diagram i've used a uh, this is a triangle so in this diagram i want to use it in order for us to calculate uh, the area found here so the area a b c uh, this is the area that we need to calculate by the use of area by coordinates so again we do just like the other video that uh, i had done earlier uh, make sure you watch it um in order for you to find uh, more reasoning more different reasoning of the uh, different diagrams that we have calculated uh, you can try it using a different diagram so let's go ahead so area uh, a b c is gotten by uh, having area a b s um, let me see yeah 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 so this is the big uh, area found here so area a b s mm, this should be d so that's uh, just a little bit correction so area a b s d uh, minus area a c t uh, d so there is d so it is a c t d and then so i have done so this in brackets so the addition of these two subtracted by the general the bigger one so this uh, b c t s so the addition of these two areas subtracted by the addition of the larger area will get our final areas here so that is the areas that we are looking for uh, so that is what uh, we are having there so let's go uh, so I've done that correction so we are subtracting that with the smaller ones so we can go ahead and we can do that so let me erase this let me erase that so yeah that that we so we have done so that uh, the pen uh we go directly to our equation so by remembering uh, what we had done earlier so this is from the areas by trapezium so the area of our trapezium this is a half into a plus b uh, multiplied by h that is the height i uh, will do that to all our trapeziums here so we have divided these figures into trapeziums and by dividing them into trapeziums we can calculate uh, the rest so we can start with this first one so a b s d so a b s d so this is that area the largest one so that is a half into a a is the distance from here this is zero uh to where our a is found there so that is the nothing of a then plus so this is a here is b then the distance also sorry that is not b our b is found there on our last part so here is our b so from here to here that's where our h lies in so you remember that so that is the distance of h found from d to s so uh, our b so from here zero to b so that is the nothing of b i uh, multiplied by h h is the distance uh from d to s so that is the uh our easting of a 
then here we have from our origin zero that is the easting of b so the difference in these two easting will provide for me the distance covered there so the easting of b minus the easting of a that will give me my h so i've done that neatly there so this is a half into the nothing of a plus nothing of b multiplied by our h that is the difference in the easting of b minus the easting of a and then subtracted by area a c t d so area a c t d is found here let me rub this in order for it to be clear so area this here area a c t d a c t d so this is the area that we are looking for so here we have a a to uh here we have a b2 and then the distance from b to t is the h so that will be a half into a a that is the easting uh the nothing of a plus the nothing of b the distance from so this is the nothing of c actually the distance from here zero to where our c is found that is the nothing of c multiplied by our h the distance so from here zero to here that is the easting of a from here to where c is that is the easting of c so that will be the easting of c minus the easting of a that is our h uh, as you can see yeah then minus uh the area uh b c t s this is the area that is found here uh let me rub this so this is the area that we are supposed to be uh looking for here uh so this is the area so area b c b c t s this is the uh, area it's a trapezium so that we can say here it's a here it's b and the distance between t and s that will be our h so that is a half into now uh, the distance from here to where c is that the nothing of c plus the nothing of b the distance from here to here so that's the nothing of b multiplied by h h is the uh distance from t to s so from here our origin to where our t is that's the easting of c then from here to where our b is the where s actually is that's the easting of b so by subtracting the largest so the easting of b minus the easting of c that will give me the last area presented there on our on our equation there so this is the data that we have so i have all these uh, formulas so i want to have them but simplified so we have a common i have in h and every single one of them so i'll use that and then by what i had presented here earlier i'm going to um, put that into consideration so i'm going to have all the areas so here we have a negative so this is a bracket so here we can say this is a negative and also this is a negative because our negative applied to uh, everything that was there inside so by having done that i put all my values there so a half is common so everything is in brackets here everything that is there on brackets so i expand so a nothing of a multiplied by the easting of b then the nothing of a multiplied by the easting of a so here we have a subtraction then plus nothing of b not multiplied by easting of b then the nothing of b again multiplied by the easting of a we have a negative then we go ahead uh, um so uh here in our um, so this was a negative i remember that 
so make sure you change that to be uh, negative here so by let's correct that so our value here needs some correction so this is the negative remember that so i have already corrected that there so this is the negative uh minus as it is nothing of a uh multiplied by the easting of a found here so then the nothing of a multiplied by the easting of a uh the again uh, so on our general um, so that was our general uh formula the yeah so the nothing of a and easting of a and nothing of a easting of a the yeah so that is done the yeah and we so we go ahead and we simplify so uh this uh, so minus uh so the nothing of a now multiplied by this thing of a then here our negative and here our negative will have a positive so that changes there then again our negative uh nothing of c multiplied by uh this thing of c then again here we have a negative a negative we had there so that changes everything so that becomes a uh, positive so nothing c is thing uh, a then minus nothing c multiplied by is thing uh, b then nothing c multiplied by ne negative of the is thing of c changes the sign there to be a positive then minus no nothing of b multiplied by is thing b then negative as uh, so it is minus nothing of b multiplied by negative the nothing of c it changes the sign there yeah. so by doing that i uh, will have done that so i get i'll go ahead and we look for similar um uh items that can be solved uh by sub so by simplification so either it's a positive and a negative it cancel each other so there we had none so this is a negative uh, nothing a is thing a is found here so this is a positive it cancelled a positive nothing b is thing b mm, here we have a negative it cancels again then our last uh, nothing c is thing c uh, here again it cancels so there we had a negative so this is the simple uh s that is the simpler way in which we can solve that so by doing that we go ahead on our final uh equations and on our final equations so they are the yeah so by simplification we'll have remained by nothing of a is thing b minus nothing b is thing a minus nothing a is thing c plus nothing c is thing a minus nothing c is thing b plus nothing b is thing c so we look at similar uh, terms so i'll use the is thing so where we have a is thing of b I will team it together then our easting of a will team there together and then lastly our easting of c will team there also together so that is what i've done on our final equation and this is the final equation that can prove what we have done is correct so i've opened again the brackets having a common term outside then by subtracting the most important thing make sure you understand the negatives so also by opening the brackets some areas where we, well, we had a negative and our outside figure has a positive uh, that changes so this is the simple simplification uh, of our answer so let me look at so here an example is this so here we had a negative of nothing b is thing a then here we have a positive of nothing c is thing a 
so here we have a negative so i've used the negative outside so negative of the easting of a are into brackets are the nothing of b uh there i've used a positive because if you expand this it will give you that then you have used a negative because if you multiply the negatives it will give you the positive found there so that is the trick that i have uh done the yeah so that is the trick uh that will be all uh remember to make sure you go through the other video uh, it has it has some more informative um uh, sessions and remember to subscribe like and share the knowledge all over the world to other learners so i'll be doing more of this proving the smaller equations so thanks that will be